give yourself every possible advantage like I do. Like you said, Chris, just get started. Even even a cheap juicer from your big box store, you know, that's a high speed that I don't recommend. It's going to give you more benefits than it, in most cases, eating whole fresh fruits and vegetables without juicing because these are, you're blown open the cell walls. You're going to have better digestion and most people's digestive systems aren't working that well, you know, especially with, when they're having to deal with a lot of plant, especially vegetable and leafy green fiber. Yeah. And that's the point of juice. I think I get this question a lot um, is like, what about the fiber? I mean, why do, isn't the fiber important? And I think just to, to answer this, juice doesn't replace a meal. This is not a meal unless you're doing a juice fast, right? Juice is supplemental. That's what it is. It's supplemental. So it's not like don't eat a carrot, only drink carrot juice, right? What, what you're doing when you juice is you're concentrating nutrients. You're, you're basically bypassing most of digestion because it's going right into your bloodstream. And so you're, you're supplying your body with a high level of vitamins, minerals, enzymes, antioxidants, and all these wonderful phytochemicals in plant food with minimal digestive energy required. And that's why juicing became so popular with holistic health practitioners and doctors because they realized very sick people were coming to them. Like Dr. Max Gerson, for example, is, you know, exclusively for, for the most part was seeing stage four cancer patients. I mean, they're very, very sick people. And he realized that juicing was a way to hyper nourish, right? To give these people maximum nutrition with minimal energy required, because when you have cancer and a lot of, you know, serious diseases, your body has a, a really significant energy problem. And so juice gives you energy and it gives you nutrition. So anything you want to add to that? I mean, I'd pretty much agree with you. What, what I would say is that, you know, when I'm juicing, like in, in a juice, you can, you keep a percentage of the fiber because there's, I mean, there's many different kinds of fibers that, that science have identified. And the two main categories are usually soluble and insoluble, although there's, you know, thousands of types of different kinds of hemicellulose and lignans and all these other big words that I probably don't even know. Um, but the soluble fiber is kept when you juice. I don't even know if you could see that in my glass, but there's all these little specks. And all those little specks are probably the insoluble fiber because the soluble fiber dissolves in water. And so depending on what you juice will dictate how much fiber I was looking, because I, I have a video on this already where I go over in certain vegetables, there's X percent of soluble fiber. So for example, in carrots, it's about 50% soluble, 50% insoluble. Actually, it's probably like 48, 52. But in, in general, if you're juicing carrots, you're still keeping about half the fiber. And so if you're drinking a carrot juice, right, you're still probably getting more fiber than eating a lot of other processed foods that don't have any fiber. And so, and then also some juicers, depending on the juicer, will keep more of the insoluble fiber that does not dissolve as well. So that's a very important point. But I mean Thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, why not subscribe? Here's a link to do that. And if you'd like to watch the full interview, you can find it at chrisbeatcancer.com. There's a link to it in the description right below this video.